My new vacuum. I got Can't love yourself. Wait, shit. All right, good morning, y'all. It is day five of Vlogmas, and I am here with this big boy. My new vacuum. I got a Tyneco um, iFloor 2. I got the blue limited edition. This was a Black Friday deal at Walmart. And I've been wanting this vacuum for a super duper long time and finally got it. It was a hassle, y'all, to get this. I It kept selling out. <laughs> um, and I got it like after Black Friday, so I was already pushing it, but I got it. And we're about to unbox it and put it to good use. Tyneco for the first time I'm gonna do a separate video where I go into like full detail about the vacuum and everything else 
but I just wanted to kind of show what it looks like to begin. Um, and I left in the audio so you guys can hear just how loud it is. But I really like it um, so far. The only thing that I have an issue with is the cleaning process. It's not something you can use every day. Uh, keep that in mind because you do have to let each component dry for about 24 hours a piece. And it takes a bit longer than 24 hours because some things just do not dry out completely just yet. But it works really good. Um, it only takes about four to five hours to charge. And I did the entire apartment, um, living room, kitchen, hallway, our like entryway area, and the bathroom. And it was fine. Um, yeah, so I think it was worth the money. I do hate that you can't use it every day. So if you do decide to get this, you need to make sure you're using your like broom or your regular mop or your Swiffer in between and I would say save the time to go for maybe like once or twice a week so you have enough time in between. But yeah, that's it for that. <laughs> So now we're gonna get into decorating my little Dollar Tree tree. I got the white one with the rose gold um, ornaments. They're like the mini ornaments. And I got like a glitter rose gold and just a shiny rose gold. So during the Halloween, I kept seeing, uh, what's it called? I kept seeing the little black and purple. I think they had purple. It might've just been black Halloween themed Christmas trees. And I kept telling myself, I'm gonna get one, I'm gonna get one. And I never did. Like I kept telling myself, I'm gonna wait. And then by the time I went back, I went to several Dollar Trees, I didn't have many more. So it was really sad because I thought it would've looked so cute in my bedroom. And I got the black and purple ornaments for the mini black Christmas tree, but I never ended up getting it. So I was happy to see the white. And it's actually not that bad of a tree for a dollar. You guys will see it later in the video exactly what it looks like. But I feel like it's a easy little uh, fix. And I think for a dollar, like you, oh, well, let me, let me correct myself, a dollar 25. I, you know, we gotta remember that our favorite place is no longer just a dollar, it's a dollar 25. But um, yeah, it's actually not that bad. And for the ornaments and everything, I think it was really cute. And so for the pink girlies or the, you know, it would be a really cute little setup. And I just have it off beside my desk, which y'all have seen. Well, y'all will see. But it was a little hard to make it look full. And I had about um, 16, I think 16 of those come in a pack. I don't remember if I used all of them or not. Um, I think I tried to do like eight a piece because I told myself I was gonna get another one, another one of those little white trees, but I don't think I am because I mean, it's already like the middle of December and Christmas is only like literally a week away, a week and some change away. Um, but yeah, so I probably will go ahead and put the rest of the ornaments on it whenever I get a chance. Uh, you know, it, it, it looks a little, a little light. It's not yet at the Charlie Brown rate because y'all know the Charlie Brown tree was like looking real janky. Hasn't gotten to that point just yet, but it's good. So if you still have time and you just want some cute little decorations, I kind of want one in my bedroom. I'm not gonna lie. I might go ahead and get another one put in the bedroom. The only worry that I had was our cat because um, obviously, you know, we didn't have a cat at first when we made this decision, but now we do. Uh, cat is literally laying like between my feet as I am recording this recording recording this audio but um the biggest worry was her jumping onto it so my little this one I have this on top of a dollhouse actually that is being used as a shelf because we were going to do remember girlfriend we're going to do like this dollhouse restoration like project it's like a lol omg dollhouse and we were going to like uh put, turn it into something else but it has become a catch-all shelf for us as of late. That's basically what we do with it. Um, but yeah, and she doesn't climb up there. She doesn't try to jump up there. But you will see later on in the video that our, our actual tree is on the floor and she tries to eat it. 
So that's our biggest uh, concern, but yeah. But I got this little Hello Kitty during Black Friday. I got her at Five Below, and I kind of wish I had gotten Cinema Roll too. I really want Karomi, because I love Karomi, but I wasn't able to uh, get her at our Five Below. But yeah, I just want to make this little area beside my desk like really cute and holiday spirited. But I'm gonna shut my mouth now. <laughs> uh, yeah. For dinner tonight, we have garlic bread and crock pot broccoli and cheddar soup. We're about to sit down and watch some drag race, and then we are going to decorate our Christmas tree. Ooh. Can't love yourself. Wait, shit. <laughs> if you can't love yourself. How the hell are you gonna love? Wait, what? If you can't love yourself. Yeah. I could have sworn with the other way around. Amen, I guess. It's the two, 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 two to the moon. <laughs> now my girlfriend is putting together our actual Christmas tree. And this is just the little four foot uh, Christmas trees that they have at Five Below. We got this last year and I did not know they had silver ones and I really wanted to get a silver one this year, but they sold out. Cause I think when we went to Five Below for Black Friday, this lady bought the last one. But I mean, if you're in a pinch and you want a cute little Christmas tree for cheap, definitely go to Five Below. They're only $5 or it might be like, 555 or whatever and they have like a lot of decorations too but i would say get your tree from five below and then get all your decorations from dollar 25 tree because that's what we did last year we got ornaments from i think tj maxx or something but we broke those in the move so we decided to start over um yeah Sorry, if I stop talking, it's because I'm recording this audio like days later and I accidentally dropped my Carmex on my lap and the cat is, I guess it's bothering her that it rolled near her leg, so near her paw, so she's like not happy. But anyway, um, yeah, so the purple and black decorations I got from Dollar Tree, you see down, no, I got, yeah, I got all those, uh, I got everything from Dollar Tree. A lot of it I got during Halloween, and then the rest I got like a couple weeks ago. So yeah, we were trying to go for a spooky thing, quote unquote, but it only went But this tree, it was so rapid on that little wrapper that it took a lot to fade out the way that it needed to be and it's a like this is the well you know they always say the eyes of the windows Can you 
help fan it out? We kind of took turns. My girlfriend kind of took out all the little minis and put the hooks on them. And we were trying to go through for like the theme. We kind of put them like we wanted to put, well, I wanted to put all the smaller ones at the top and all the bigger ones at the bottom because it just, I feel like it's more aesthetically pleasing that way and it's more, you know, catching to the eye because, you know, perspectives the bigger things are like in the forefront and then the smaller things you know go further back and if you think about the tree the smaller top why would you want the big balls like on the top I don't know but my girlfriend wasn't really agreeing with that but anyway I just thought they were really cute because our theme is like black purple silver and there's kind of like platinum in that other thing I think but we want to get a little table for our tree to like elevate it and make it look like a more full-size tree but we want to go thrifting and get one but because right now the cat keeps trying to eat the fake pines and it's like we don't have time to have to rush you to the vet because you want to eat plastic on a tree and she won't leave the balls alone and it's like get away from me kiki and she doesn't listen because she's kind of hard-headed like she is pretty hard-headed we thought we had this calm sweet cat but she just you know i guess as she's getting more comfortable she's gonna keep testing the limits and it's like girl no but yeah i'm actually kind of proud of our little tree like i think it looks so cute and it looks so much better than the one that we had last year but i'm gonna stop talking now and let y'all enjoy the rest of this
small star. And remember, if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love somebody else? And I'll get that hey, man. I'll oh, get that hey, So you can put the you can put the bat on. What can do anything else? I did the rest of the garland. Somebody act like they couldn't do it. Like it was so difficult. My hands are broken. So here are both of our little trees all complete. Thank you guys so much for watching this super duper late uh, long vlogmas vlog. But comment down below, you know, what you enjoyed about this video. And I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.